Otto the Otter, a big surprise. Otto the Otter has been visiting the small pond for a long time. The people who live in the gray house near the pond gave him his name. It is always a wonderful surprise when they see him. Otto doesn't come every day, but he does come often to swim, play, and eat. Otto stays at the pond for a few hours and then travels from the pond through a creek to another pond nearby. Otters travel in a six-mile area and the people's pond is just one of the places he visits. Otto is a North American river otter and he lives in fresh water. River otters are different from sea otters who live in the salty water of the Pacific Ocean. Otters sleep near water in a variety of places on land, both above ground and in underground dens. Otto leaves the pond at night. The people in the gray house don't know where he goes. Sometimes they see him leave as he squeezes through the fence on the other side of the pond. The people worry about Otto if they don't see him for a long time. Once he stayed away all winter and finally showed up again in the spring, with a very big surprise. Otto turned out not to be Otto. Otto is a girl. How did the people realize that Otto is a girl? Otto came to the pond with two babies. The people changed the otter's name to Opal. Otter babies are called pups. Before they are born, their mother creates a quiet den where they will be born and kept safe. The pups spend their first month there. They can't see because their eyes are not open yet, but their mom watches over them. As the pups grow, the small pond near the gray house provides a safe place for them. The first few weeks that Opal brought them to the pond, they stayed all day. Their mom always keeps them close and looks after them. The people in the gray house never get tired of watching them. When the pups were about two months old, Opal started to teach them to swim. The pups were not born knowing how to swim. Their mom also taught them how to look for food under the water. Otters eat fish, frogs, crayfish, turtles, and insects. They have long whiskers which help them find their food in dark or cloudy water. They also have special eyelids, which allow them to keep their eyes open to see while swimming under the water. Otters can close their ears and noses, which allows them to swim underwater for almost eight minutes. Sometimes the otters disappear under the water, but the people can tell where they are by the bubbles that rise to the surface. The pups often leave the pond to play on the grass, clean themselves, and nurse from opal. Mother otters continue to cuddle and nurse their pups for 14 weeks. As the pups continue to grow, they leave Opal's side and swim around the pond to explore and play on their own. Opal watches them very closely and squeaks loudly to show them her displeasure when they get too far away. There are two wooden rafts floating in the small pond. The people who live in the gray house call them turtle islands. During the heat of the day, the turtles who live in the pond like to climb onto the rafts and enjoy the warmth of the sun. The pups love to play on the turtle islands too. When the pups are on the raft, the turtles leave to find another place to enjoy their time in the sun. The people in the gray house love to watch the otters swim. Otters have long, flat, wide tails that they use just like a rudder on a boat. Their tail helps them steer and also helps them swim fast. Adult otters are very strong and can swim six to seven miles per hour while in the water and can run as fast as 15 miles per hour on land. The people watch as time passes and the pups continue to grow. Opal moves them from the safety of the pond more often and takes them to other places. Sometimes they are gone for several days. Now when they do come, they no longer stay very long. Their lives have become busier as they travel from pond to pond. The people in the gray house do not know how long or how often they will get to see Opal and her pups. Otter pups usually stay with their mother until they are a year old. The people hope they will get to see them for a long time and watch them grow. If the people in the gray house are lucky, maybe Opal will show up with a new litter of pups one day. The end. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check out the links in the description box. I'll see you in the next story time.